mostly interested in the, uh, understanding what the structure of the nucleus is, the nuclear pattern distribution functions. We have been working in this problem in the last uh, more than 20 years with my collaborators in Finland. Uh, and uh, the results that we have uh, seen this morning are very promising to uh, provide further constraints to the quark gluon plasma, to, sorry, to the uh, nuclear PDFs. Uh, and uh, in the jet quenching, I am interested in uh, developing the tools to have a good understanding of the jets that traverse uh, a medium, a quark gluon plasma in order to measure the, the properties of this medium. Uh, I'm uh, very interested in understanding what is the role of color coherence and the role of finite, f finite formation time of the, um, uh, of, of the uh, jet quenching uh, and also uh, the space-time picture of the cascade and how this can help measuring the space-time evolution of the quark gluon plasma. In this conference, I, before coming here, I was very curious about uh, the uh, results from the small Shannon Shannon run this year. So this was a very small run, only eight hours. It was meant or it was presented as a, a, a machine development uh, run. And, uh, but uh, what we have seen is that the physics uh, uh, was very interesting. Some, uh, some surprising results from Shannon Shannon. And uh, this goes into the, into the wider uh, area of uh, studying small systems and uh, what uh, uh, system size dependence can let us know about the, uh, the properties of the quark gluon plasma and also the dynamics of the QCD involved, both uh, in the equilibrium and non-equilibrium. Uh, dynamics of, of, the, of the systems. So the, uh, we know quite a lot of uh, uh, things from the quark gluon plasma. We have good models of the quark gluon plasma. We have good models of the dynamical uh, interaction of the probes with the quark gluon plasma. But uh, in my opinion, the next, uh, so th the most uh, uh, interesting next question will be the space time evolution of the quark gluon plasma. Uh, in collisions of heavy ions and uh, uh, how uh, we can measure the, uh, the process of thermalization, if it exists at all, uh, in, uh, in the quark gluon plasma. For that, um, it was uh, in the last years, it, it was uh, very important to measure small systems, so proton nucleus and also proton-proton in, in high multiplicities. Uh, we have seen also some uh, system size dependence in the LHC for the first time and I am really curious about uh, what the future can tell us about these uh, uh, new possibilities. Yeah.